morning, Roxas. Hey. You ready to give this a shot? Yeah. Come on. Together. Yeah. Is it a problem? What in the world would possess you to ask at a time like this? We are short-handed as it is, and yet you expect me to say yes. Why not? Seems like a good idea to me. Put two half pints together, and you get a hole. If you let us pair up, we can do tougher missions for you. No problem. <sighs> Fine. As you wish. So, our orders are to investigate a cave this time? Right. Axel and I found it the last time we were here. There's a hidden entrance in the city. Wow. How did you stumble across that? By accident, mostly. We spotted somebody acting fishy, and Axel suggested we tell him. And that led you to the cave. Good call on Axel's part. So. You ready to go explore it? Yeah. The hidden door is down that way. Come on. Uh-oh. We're not alone. Heartless. What do you want to do? Like we have any choice. Let's clear them out. Roger that. saw him here last time, too. Hey, Roxas, look! He must have dropped it. Where'd he swipe something like this? What do you think? Should we just leave it? It's up to you, Shio. We may not get a chance to return it, but if you don't pick it up, Somebody else will. Hmm. Then I guess I'll hold on to it. It might come in handy. Okay. Let's head for the cave. of this there's a hole here it's like something's meant to fit inside huh. it looks about the same size as the gem I found Ah, 
No way! It clicked right into place! Guess that explains where the monkey found it. If it was here to begin with, it should probably stay here. Ready to dig a little deeper? We've combed this whole area. What's next? Let's head further into the cave. Okay. What is this thing? Uh, when in doubt, give it a good snack? Never one of those blocks. Try hitting this one. The floor is cracked. Yeah, this looks like it was built ages ago. Hey, it's another one of these blocks. Yeah? Would hitting it work? were for those steps. Let's see where they lead. Okay. What's this statue? It's holding a jewel or something. I think that's about all we're gonna find down here. Yeah, I don't see any more doors or switches. We must be at the end of the cave. So what's the verdict? Well, we searched the cave top to bottom. Let's call it a day in RTC. Sounds good to me. Hey, who are you bozos? Uh-oh. I know you. Hmm. <laughs> Here for the magic lamp, are you? What magic lamp? Don't try and play dumb with me! You listen up and listen good. That lamp is official property of Pete. That's me. You got it. So you goons can keep your dirty mitts off.
you puny little punks. First I can't find the dang blasted lamp. Now I gotta deal with these weirdos. It just ain't fair. Yoinks! This can't be good. I'm out of here! <laughs> hey, wait! Come on, Roxas! We can't stay here! Yeah, you're right. Hurry! Just barely. So, I take it that was the guy? The one me and Axel saw? Yeah. Pete, I think he said. Yeah. He kept going on about some magic lamp. Wonder what he meant. Uh, Roxas! Behind you! Huh? Yeah! What? What am I looking at? You okay? Yeah. It doesn't seem hostile. <laughs> I think it likes you. Figure that one out. Yeah, figure that one out. Yeah! Who are you? Who am I? You want to know who I am? Yes. Well, all right then. One personal introduction coming right up. The name's Genie, formerly of the Lamb. But call me by my first name, kids. And this is my good friend, the Magic Carpet. Nice to meet you. Uh. Yeah, likewise. Hey, come on now, you can do better than that! I mean, why so glum? Feeling all blue? Believe me, I can relate. No doubt. So, uh, who are you kids? Uh, we're, um... Psst, Roxas? Change the subject. We're, um... Change it to what? Me? I was just swinging by Agrabah to check in. When all of a sudden, Carpet here decides to put the tassels of the metal and take off! Says he's spotted a friend. A friend? And that friend is me? I know, crazy, isn't it? I tag along, all ready to reminisce about old times. But I have no idea in the cosmos who you are. You sure this is a friend of ours, Rockman? Anyway, uh, Agraba is that city over there, right? That's the one! My buddy Al's hometown. Why, when we first met, Al and I were inseparable. Inseparable? Yep! Until Capra and I took off on a well-deserved vacation. What you might call a mini-world tour. But we got to worry about how Al was doing. So we figured we'd pop back in to check up on him. Why were you worried? Is there something to worry about? Well, sure! It's only natural to worry about your friends. I worried about how things were going with Jasmine, how the city was holding up. And once I get something on my mind, I can't knock it out. I tried everything. Dynamite, sledgehammers, freezes. Well, I don't know anybody named Al, but the city's in rough shape. They've been fixing it up. Right. They keep getting hit by sandstorms. 
What? Why do these things always happen the minute I leave town? All right, stand back. A little magic and I'll have this place where back into shape. Your friend Al said this isn't a job for magic. He what? He said the people living there should be the ones to fix it up. Oh, well, if that's Al's final word, I guess that's that. You're not going to help out? Al said no magic, right? I'd love to just fix the place, but even a genie's gotta respect his friend's wishes. Hmm. I guess so. We should get back, Roxas. Yeah. Still, I doubt he'd mind a teensy weensy speck ahead. There we go! Now the city's safe. And with that out of the way, enough starling. Who are you two? Okay, forget who. Where are you two? Hey, mission go okay? Yeah, I think it's gonna work. Thanks, Axel. You and Roxas are the best. We try. So, where'd they end up sending you? That place you and me went to before. Uh, what was it again? Agrabah. Oh, that city in the desert. We sure ran into some interesting characters this time, huh? You mean Pete and Jeannie? Jeannie sounded really worried about his friend. Some guy named Al? But I guess you can't always jump in and do everything for your friends. Even if you want to. That's right. People need their space. So then, why did Genie say he and Al were inseparable? Yeah, it's not like they were joined at the hip. Well, I think you can be inseparable, even if you're apart. Really? Sure. If you feel really close to each other, if you're best friends. So, best friends are different from plain friends, right? They're about the same. Best friends, huh? But I'd say best friends are a notch above just plain friends. So, how are they different? I don't know. I couldn't tell you because I don't have any best friends. I see. 